Hi, this is Porter Thorndike, and I'm going to review our capabilities in Embedded BI. First and foremost, we have an incredibly scalable platform. It supports millions of users, very flexible architecture and security capabilities. Things like trusted tickets, single sign-on, and pre-authentication are the favored security types in Embedded BI. And all of the analysts would say to maximize user adoption rate of your application, embed analytics right into the application people are already using. And the most common embedding approach that we support is an API. The API extends to 78 REST Web Services calls. It covers things like publishing reports and charts. You can see three examples up here. But it also covers administration, security, scheduling, and distribution. One unique capability of ours is the ability to embed tools. So a lot of people would want to do that as a data monetization opportunity. They might be able to charge a premium fee or they might simply be seeking to differentiate their business. So we're talking about things like a report writer, a data visualization tool, maybe a data prep tool that you could offer up for a fee or many times we see people pushing the envelope and offering interactive, innovative ways for people to understand their data that simply differentiates the application from their competitors. So one way that people do this is using this interactive chart mode we offer called Insight that would allow people to visualize and understand the data, explore the data based on governed measures and dimensions that you would offer, or simply research funds that we think might be good for them if someone's looking for low volatility funds. So we see many of our customers pushing the envelope in this direction to differentiate their application. The other embedded BI capability we have is scheduling and distribution. So many people use us to go paperless, another great data monetization use case, because we can create the electronic statement that saves in printing and distribution, but we can also add a lot of interactivity to that portable statement where we embed the data and interactive controls right into the document itself. So that people could do things like simulate what an increase in their contribution would have. They could understand their allocations or compare the performance of the funds they're invested in to ones they might be interested in as well. So these are popular approaches. There's another unique capability that we offer, and that is the ability to embed our portal. And people that seek to do this, they look at our portal, and the portal is a content management system. It's really good with security, provisioning content, prescribing a certain you know, workflow or user experience, but it would also allow the user to customize the page. If they wanted to see a different KPI in the page, it could manage all of those things. It's responsive web design, knows what to do on mobile devices, and it supports things like chat and collaboration. Maybe an investor would be having a conversation with their advisor. So a lot of our customers look at those capabilities and they decide they want them, but they don't want to write them themselves. And so they embed our portal in that case. And lastly, we can embed our secret sauce info apps, which are highly interactive analytical apps for non-technical users. If you've researched mutual funds or booked an airline ticket, you have benefited from what we call the info app experience. And often that is one of progressive disclosure that focuses the user's attention on the key questions they need to answer up front. I might be interested in which funds Fintoso Financial recommends, and highly rated funds might be important to me. And it is then that progression, that workflow that takes you to the results page that's very familiar to people, that people can use with no training. And you could further adjust your results. I'm looking for low volatility funds. I've got 10 that I think might be a good fit. And another key differentiator of InfoApps, the ability to parameterize anything. What that means to me is it allows the non-technical user to ask additional questions of that data as they research funds that are good for them. I want the context of the fund family. I want some additional information maybe on the volatility expense ratio and net assets of these funds with the ability to export in any format, some common things that info apps provide. So this has been Porter Thorndike reviewing our capabilities in Embedded BI.